Gentlemen, start your historic journey. What we have under the hood of the sequel is not a regular engine as you'd see in a conventional vehicle. It is an uh, air conditioning system. We took the air conditioning module that's normally inside the instrument panel and we decided to, to move it under the hood because we have a lot of space now because we don't have an engine any, anywhere under the hood. Um, underneath this air conditioning system is a front electric motor that powers the front wheels and behind the electric motor is the fuel cell stack. It's shaped like a suitcase it sits under the floor so when you're driving the vehicle your foot is actually resting on top of the fuel cell and then behind the fuel cell are three hydrogen tanks and the big one in the center forms the tunnel and then there are two side ones which are smaller which are under the floor and they're all the same length they're about five feet long and then finally behind the hydrogen tanks are is a battery pack a lithium-ion battery pack which is sitting in between the two wheel motors which power the, the rear wheels so this vehicle has all-wheel drive when you accelerate you really feel a burst of power which is coming from the wheel motors the wheel motors does do most of the work uh, during that initial burst of acceleration and then the front electric motor does a lot of the extra work afterwards well this is the very first time any fuel cell vehicle has demonstrated 300 miles range driving which is a normal range that people expect when they buy a vehicle is that type of range for normal driving it allows you to refuel maybe once a week which is about the right frequency and it's the first time a zero emissions vehicle or a fuel cell vehicle has achieved that range in normal driving not simulated artificial steady state driving but real world driving over hills and through cities and stop start traffic jams and so forth real world driving we can get 300 miles range and that's never been done before